How are you doing? Crap. School okay? Trying hard and all that. No one could be as talented as you, mate. There is no gift for that stuff. It's from hard work. Yeah, yeah, that's enough. I'm off to the shops to buy blankets for that charity this afternoon. Charity? What? The homeless charity. The one I asked you to help me with. Oh my god, do I have to? Nah, no, screw that. I've got more important stuff to do. Like what? Playing games? Yeah, this is probably why you're always so tired, Chris. Like, instead of relaxing and helping yourself, you always have to help someone. And for what? Like, no one even knows that you do it. Yeah, and that's what separates you and I, Cal. Not only as brothers, but as, you know, people. What? How? I don't help for a recognition. I help because I can. Because they need it. Why wouldn't I? You, on the other hand, only do what helps you. Here we go with the high horse BS. You know, Mum knew. She knew what it was like to give. To give everything to everyone. Yeah, well, yeah, well, look what that got her. Cal, she loved you, and so does Dad. I just wish you could understand sometimes. Cal, I'll be back soon. Don't stay up too late. Yeah, all right. Hello? Yeah. Yeah, that's my brother. Oh, Cal. How are you? Good, thanks. Ready to get started? Yeah. <clears throat> Alright, uh, before we get started, I'm not sure if you're aware of this, but I knew your brother. You did? Through other patients and mutual friends, Chris did a lot of blood donating, volunteer work, and other things. He was a lovely and amazing person, and I'm sorry for your loss. Thanks. So how does this work? Do I just answer questions and stuff? Yes, but none that you're uncomfortable with, with if that's okay. Okay. Alright, so to begin, why do you think you're here? Because my brother killed himself and apparently I need help. Losing someone is a very hard thing to deal with, especially for suicide. Yeah, I understand. I understand your job and your intentions and everything. I just, I find it very unnecessary. Well, all the same, even if I think you're mentally sound, I still need to do these sessions to understand you more. Yeah, it's just this whole situation's been really irritating and this is not helping, to be honest. Oh, what do you mean by irritating? Everyone seems to think they know more than me. Like I wasn't his brother. And then, you know, I think about last time I saw him and... I, I, I apologise if my anecdote about your brother made you... No, no, no. It's just, you know, he's such a great guy, but yet he's still gone. <laughs> Did he ever tell you why he was such a good person all the time? Because it's what's right, he used to say. And if I can, I should. Please, understand that you're lucky to have such a good brother to remember. Yeah, I know. Have you ever tried following in his footsteps? No, why would I? It may help with the healing process. I don't really believe in all that, to be honest. Believe in what? Healing? Yeah. 
Okay, we're a bit short on time. Now, so, any last minute questions? I heard you got a letter. Did that help? Yeah, it did. small things, uh, helping classmates with homework, mm. uh, giving people directions, uh, bus money, that type of stuff. Mm -hmm. uh, and now, like, almost every time I see someone, even if they don't look like they need help at all, um, my first instinct is just to try and find a way to make something easier for them. You know what? You're starting to sound like Chris. I, I, that is the highest compliment I could ever give. I, uh, I never opened the letter, by the way. It usually takes some time. I'm not sure if I ever want to read it. The last time I spoke to him, I was being a dick. So. Take however long you need, but don't leave it for too long. Not a burden, they're a privilege. By the way, I didn't write that letter for nothing. 